tell us what's happening. So I'm gonna start out with my girl. I'll run you out tonight. I came out here to support Scotty. I see he got a dope event and I wanna see what's happening. Okay, girl, you cute. What's your name? Seven. Okay, so oh I see it on your T. Oh, she cute, girl. Okay, okay. Y'all give it up for seven up here in this August. Uh, Yo, what's going on? We are live on edge with it. It's your boy Newface with your hip hop history minute. In today's hip hop facts, random facts, we got Wick Ross, real name William Roberts. But did you know Meek Mill, MMG signee, is Robert Williams? Crazy, right? Today's guest, Nav Green, 85 South Show's own, you know, but family business. Shout out to Money Bag and Clayton English. Man, this guy right here, wonderful role in coming to America, but he was also, we did the apartments, man, and I think a sequel is coming up. It's an exclusive, so I hope to see Nav Green, your favorite shift leader and your favorite vegetarian, but make sure to catch him on this, you know, could have been record. Shout out to Drewski. That was your Hip Hop History Minute with your boy Newt. Hello? Okay. Take it. All right. Yo, we are live on Edgewood. Back to you, Scotty. Ooh, what's happening, man? How y'all feeling today, man? Thank y'all for coming out. So make sure y'all follow us too, man, on Instagram, live on Edgewood TV. I am Scotty ATL. I'm going to be your man for the day. I got my girl with me, Erica Duchess. Make some noise for her, please. Yeah. What's oh, up, E? Oh, my bad. What's up, Scott? How you feeling? You good? <laughs> I can't complain, brother. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I see you got the fresh shirt on. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, look. What my shit say? What it say? OK, I love grill. You feel me? I ain't got one yet, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on, it's the, on the way. way. It's going to be an exciting episode today. I got my player partner in here. He's been known as the shift leader. He's been <laughs> in 15 movies. One of them is being Coming to America. He's also been in Digital Lives Matter, yeah. which is where he got his first start. Yeah. I want y'all to make some noise, man. Put y'all hands together for my dog, Nav Green. Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, man? What's going on? Man, everything's smooth, man. How you feeling, man? Feel good, man. You feel good? Yeah. I'm glad you came through, man. Appreciate like a big-ass barbecue, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Live on good air. Good vibe, yeah. yeah. Good vibe, man. Good people in the crowd, man. Hey, can y'all make some noise for now one more time, man? What's up? <laughs> man, what's up, man? Uh, that shit make me feel low. <laughs> you all love, bro. You been doing your thing, man. I told y'all I been researching you in the back. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching you since Digital Lives Matter. When yeah. you first got your start. But I want to know before we even get into all that, like, how did you grow up, man? You from Atlanta, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What part of Atlanta are you from? I grew up on the south side, and then I moved to the east side when I got, like, ninth grade. See, east side. Uh -huh. Me and her go back and forth about this east side, west side thing. Uh -huh. Yo, you from the east side, really, then, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. even hang in there. Like, yeah, you know, man. Now you claim the east side? You yeah, claim the east side now? Come on, yeah. I got oh, a yeah, claim east side. What yeah. part of the east side <laughs> you was at? I went to Matt now. OK. I grew up on Gresham. Okay, all right, yeah, so yeah. you real east side then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. What you talking about? It's like Stone Mountain or something? I don't know. You know, I just heard, you might say it like Snellville or something like that. You know what I mean? It's 20 East. It is 20. It's 20. Is that 20 East? Yeah. 7 8. Snellville is 20 East. 7 8. Oh. That ain't 20 East. I don't know. The model don't go that far. Oh, I don't know. Right, don't I don't know nothing about the east side stuff. So you grew up on the east side, south side, slash. Uh -huh. You feel me? Yeah. How is like, so as a comedian, we just know the funny side of you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But you grew up single parent home, mom and daddy, you got brothers and sisters. Like, what's what's life like growing up? I grew up with my mom and dad. Uh, and I, I got a sister. Okay. She a younger sister. Okay. So it's like they they were learning how to be parents with me by the time she came around. Now they got the shit down pat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, now y'all know how to goddamn. Love, Put her in right. a right school and, yeah. and love and, you know what I mean, gentle parent and shit. Right. With me, why they just threw me at the wolves, like, go yeah. get it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what age would you say or what made you feel like, okay, I'm funny? Like, was it ever a time where you were just like, this shit just hit you? Man, you know, everybody think they funny in elementary. 
like, you know what I'm saying? You joke and stuff like that. So, like, doing little jokes. But I was funny then. But it was in, when I was in eighth grade. Man, the teacher called my mama. And she, she was like, yeah, I had to call today because it's one thing when the kids laughing, but now I'm laughing in class. Yeah, and then it's just like, you know, some people like they come out of their shell later and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like at school, it was like my time to shine. You was you was like Claire Clown. Yeah, after I finished my work, it's time to go to work. <laughs> but did you have good grades too though? Yeah, you know, I, after I finished, but that's when I I didn't start stop caring about the work till I got like the 10th grade. Okay. Before then, I'd be wanting to do my work. And just cut up. Yeah, but then like once I got to high school, my grades started slacking, but my mom and dad, they went knowing that they were slacking because my mom, she had always had like stuff at the house. She had scanners and stuff like that. Man, I'm changing the grades and shit. Oh man, I was good at it. For real? Yeah. And she never found out? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she found out, she was like, why you ain't never going to the honors, uh, honors program and stuff? Ah, <laughs> she got your ass there. Yeah. So uh, one day they uh, see what I would do. You will make a copy of your uh, progress report. Mm -hmm. So now you got another copy. Then you line the grades up, cut it out, and tape it on top of the grades. But it got to be like, you got to copy it and scan it about two or three times so it could like, look like it don't fade a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I was doing it. Damn, bro. You uh -huh. was a genius back then. Yeah, but I, with the conduct, I would never change that because she know that's me. See, that's smart. See, yeah. that's smart. Yeah. Like, if I would have went in all S's, I would have been out of the door quick. Like, that she was, was like, she would have been smart. Yeah. All right, dig it, man. So, we're going to get into our segment, Word on the Street, with my girl, Erica Duchess. Erica, what's good, man? Let the people know what's going on. What's up, y'all? This your girl, comedian Erica Duchess, and we're live on Edgewood. And today, this is Word on the Street. And we just want to see, you know, what the people want to ask my boy Nav Green. So, my boy. You know, you fresh today, you know. What what kind of question you have for my boy today? So what's happening? Um, I want to know, is comedy the most censored than what it was before? I, I just want to know. You I said it's comedy more censored yeah, then now? We'll get, yeah, now today, than it was yeah, we'll back, in back the then, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, this is right on street. The people want to know. Uh, Definitely, I think it's uh, more censored now and more sensitive. Uh, in today's time. Back then, I feel like they could say say what they wanted to say back then. It was it was better. Like you ain't never hear about nobody getting counseled back in the day. Now everybody get counseled every other day. I want to know, like, and I don't know if this really been talked about like that, right? Uh -huh. I see that nowadays, like, if you look back and you look at like Eddie Murphy, you know what I'm saying, or you look at Martin Lawrence, they all kind of got they start. They didn't have to go through social media, right? What's the, what's like the difference nowadays being a comedian than it was back then? Do you feel like it's more work? You know what I mean? Because a lot of them just popped up on the scene. Mm -hmm. But you kind of like what I like to call like almost like an entrepreneurial comedian. Yeah, like you you find your fan base and you and you feed them. So I will say that like because it's got its perks during like, you know, comedy during this era and then doing it back back then as well. So like you got to think if you do, if you was doing comedy back then, once you pop, get in the movie, you out of here. Right. Or you get on the TV show, you out of here. Because that's what we watch. We was watching TV. A lot right. of people, attention span not long enough to sit there and watch a TV show and watch a movie. So sometimes, look, everybody got their phone on them. We on our phone. So they might see your page every day. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you putting it. You can build a fan base from that. So I will say that. But the only thing is, is like, it's no excuse. So it's like, you know mm -hmm. how people be like, man, I got to do this. I got to do that. Man, you could be doing that today. Doing oh, that tomorrow. Friend. Yeah, ain't no reason for you not not to be like investing in your in your crowd with something. Whether mm -hmm. you just going live talking. That's crazy mm -hmm. though, man. Cause I'm thinking like, cause you started out doing what? Was it YouTube videos first or was it Instagram videos? That's like the shift leader. How did oh, that Instagram. how did that even how you even got started doing that shift leader? Uh we was all of us was uh doing videos with archive, me, Erica. 
Mm-hmm. E-Man Hudson, D- DC, Marco, like all us, uh, Ernestine, well, she was archive. a part of that. Yeah. Uh, What's archive? It was a, um, it was a, like, what, can we say comedy label? Mm, yeah, comedy yeah, slash it was a label. They, they music label. They music, then they started doing comedy. Okay. Yeah. So they had started the Ratchet People Meet. Okay, I know about Ratchet People yeah. Meet. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. So they started the Ratchet People Meet. So with that, they had to, um, We'll come and try to do videos. So a video I had started with the shift leader. So the first one, you never know what video is going to hit because I had did skits before the shift leader. But I do the shift leader video and people start this. You got, I think this 2014. Mm-hmm. So then you could really uh, like how it's easy to share on stories and stuff like that. Yeah. If somebody reposted your shit then in 2014, oh, they had to take time because you had to go to repost whiz, yeah, download yeah, all that. So like, yeah. but, but then I wake up, it's going everywhere. I'm like, oh, man. So they're yeah. like, you got to come up with some more. Yeah. So then people just start sending me ideas, and then they're like, to this day, like somebody on TikTok uh, put like the old shift leaders on TikTok. They still going. New fan yeah. base. Kids. So, so for those who don't know what the shift leader is, explain to us who is the shift leader. Man. <laughs> like Some if, people know. I, I, if I you see. look outside on the spectrum here, nobody. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. But if you All but right. if you walk in and catch him, like he he feel like he bigger than he bigger than the president. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like the president, LeBron James, then him. Like he he on that type of time. Yeah. But yeah. Like, you don't work with somebody. Everybody knows somebody like that who. At a job, like, bro, you make a dollar more. Like, what are you doing? Chill. Right. But I got that, uh, because I worked at the Congress Center. Okay. After I had graduated, I worked there for the summer. And this guy named Curtis, I'll never forget, bro. (laughs) Because, like, either you did setup attendant or you did uh, housekeeping. Mm -hmm. So, like, we have to, uh, this is when it was the Georgia Dome. You know, the little stall. They had stuff to clean down there where you sit, but you have to just mop where they walk down the steps at the top of it. So it's like you do three and you change out your change out your mop water. Right. So, bro, ain't nobody finna keep doing that because that's a three long steps. Walk. No, three stalls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like two thirty six, yeah. two thirty seven, two thirty eight. And then change, change the water. water. I'm on two forty two. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but you 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 contaminating the, the spot though, ain't you? It's a, I'm making eight dollars an hour. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm doing what they pay me to do. Right. So he come. That nigga look. He said, "Uh uh-uh. uh, you don't went six stalls." I said, "This nigga can eyeball mop water." Cause he hit it right on the head. Cause no. I really was on my six one. So I said, "Boy, I gotta figure something out." And just. He would never do no work though. He'd just sit there and watch. Oh, us. he's just watching oh, everybody. Man, he had he had it made. That's crazy. Was I was wondering them. where you got that idea from. So it came from Curtis then. Yeah, and then when <laughs> we get in the office, it's always, he would never know what the team did. It's what he did. Uh, like when they do like, <laughs> they had like a little briefing me, like, you know what I'm saying, to tell what, you know, what was right, going on. Right. It was always him. I said, I got something for him. Now leave some stuff out to Scotty. Yeah, yeah he leaves okay, stuff tell out. Me, let, tell let me go back. He, okay. he really just didn't get his start from digital life. Now, do you not know this nigga skipped school one day? He, where, where, where grade you was oh, in? Oh, yeah, now? I was in the left. I did the your yeah, mama show. Yeah, he skipped school MTV one day your mama show. to oh, go real, do it. Yeah. yeah, that's you know, that was a big show on MTV. I know. And that's how he so really got his name. I in high school. They're for social media. Yeah, so was, your, was your people media. like supporting this whole Who? movement? Your parents? He like, didn't tell nobody. Know. They didn't know. They didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know. They didn't know. And you just live on TV. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> when it went live, that they had to find out because look, man, I had That's I always, crazy. I always just been the smart. Now it might sound crazy. I always just been the smartest person in school and stuff like that. So it's like with that being said. When my friends came around, we had the MTV set. They putting their real ages down because you had to be 18. So oh. they like, why is all his friends 16 and he 18? Right. <laughs> so he pulled me to the side. He was like, just be honest with me. He was like, uh, we, it's ways around this. So he was like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 18. He was like, tell me the truth. 
So you know when they say that, he you still got to lie. He was like a shift leader. Yeah, you still got to lie. I'm like, I promise you. Because <laughs> I had them on the show. I, I'm counting his money. I'm like, nah, I got to get his money. What was you doing on the show? The comedy? Yeah, comedy. comedy like, you tell roast. jokes on there. Oh, Roasting, he won. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I first skipped, I didn't know I was going to win, though. But when I first skipped school to do it, we had an economics test. So they were like, uh, my homeboy who had the car, he was like, boy, I can't leave. I can't miss Miss Clark Claire today. So I said, I got to go. So I go, cause they told us like, you know how on the show they make it seem like you just win once you win the show, right? win some money. Right. But no, each round you get some money. So I said, push kind of show, I'm gonna get the $500. Either way. Either way, and I come, you know, I'm straight. Right. I get there, I win. The first round. The first round I win, bro. Yeah. I'm geek. At 16, though, you got 500, you balling. That, but that's what you don't know. They don't give you the money right away. <laughs> so that's when, I, oh, you got to stay to. Uh, no. <laughs> bro, you got to fill out information. They talking about sending a check. I'm thinking they finna, because you know, uh, you when you cash. watch TV, they count the money, handing the thousand. Right. Away. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting around. I'm like, I was waiting for the money. They were like, oh, no, no, it don't work like that. Or well, once we get your information, we mail it to you. I know you can't mail oh that to my Oh my God, bro. I never see that money you mail it to my Oh my God, bro. Hand me that now. And you know, cash out and album pay went out. They went out. They could have said you nothing like that. They're on seven, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> so, how you know about this show? You watched it or you was yeah. around? Y'all were cool back then. Well, no, I just know his life stories. Oh. But I, 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 <laughs> I just know his life stories. It's not like I got an unsung guy or something. I, I just know his life stories. <laughs> well, he oh. fucked up. He but I do up remember that. Don't nobody remember that show? Your mama, yeah. your mama yeah. got joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a big show back then. I don't, I don't Seen yeah, you a baby, man. Scotty. You a baby to us. Yeah. That was a big show that used to be on now. Everybody used to be roasting. Yeah, yeah. that's why he roast so good. He so, been doing wow. So then when they, yeah. uh, when we was on the show, I, they finally found out my real age. <laughs> so they had to call my parents to get, they were like, if you sign, if that my, your parents sign off on you, you good for the show. Right. So they called my mom. My mom was like, well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she get a phone to my dad, I'll let you figure it out. So at first, like, nah, my dad was like, nah, tell him bring his ass home. He's skipping school. <laughs> he didn't even say that while you was at the show. Yeah. Oh, bring his ass home. He's skipping school. What? They yeah. like, but, sir, he don't want, uh, it's, he, he's up to 2,800. Ooh. Tell him he better win the rest of that shit, too. <laughs> hey, nah, I don't no money in that shit. Oh, <laughs> I said it. Know some money. But, yeah, he said yeah, stay on yeah, yeah, Did they let you keep the money? Who? Your parents? Oh, yeah, 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 for, for sure. Real? Once, mm -hmm. Man, once, but that's how my parents, like, bro, once they got on board and seen what I was doing, like, they were so supportive, though, for real. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's yeah. hard, bro. Yeah, so it yeah. was like, sometimes you just, even like my first, uh, I had been doing stand-up probably like seven months before we, my mom first saw me live, and it was a, a Ratchet People Meet show. Yeah. So wow. she came, yeah, but, before, but before then, she was just like, um, everybody, she was like, it's so many people try to do what you're doing and try to get on TV. She was like, just always just think about it. Like, have a plan B. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She just telling me, you know, being a mama, man, she came and seen me. This was her first show. She seen me at, not my first show. Right. By then, I don't, you know what I mean, got a little good. Yeah. So she come see me. After the show, she was like, you don't need no plan B. You're going to make it. When she said yeah. that, that was like, I know, that gave you a lot yeah. of calls. Like, Nigga, what? Shout out to me, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, you know, my mama a nice ass person. So it like, for her to like, say that. yeah, say that, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Dang, man. That's and crazy, she a teacher. That's why he's so smart. He I, left that you out. You know what, though? I can One understand thing about Erica, if you don't want your business up, <laughs> don't tell her. Don't tell her. Yeah, yeah. She ain't talking to that whole oh, shit. She ain't telling my mama shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mama yeah, yeah. We saw it. My mama teacher. She about to tell her what school she working at. What's so crazy? You went to my mama class and had to read. Uh, you lying. I had to send it to you, I think, one time. Maybe so. I, I'll show it to you, yeah. We, yeah. I'm not going to say the school did. Yeah, no. No, I don't, yeah. I won't say that. I don't know how people pulling up on yeah. this man, my man's school. God damn, no wrong. My mama, she a teacher school. <laughs> nah, I'll lay your ass down. Man. <laughs> nah, but that's, that's a hard story because, mm -hmm. like, you know, as a as a rap, you know, in the rap game, oh. right? As an artist, I always hear and I just know the story of coming up and you realize you a good rapper because you might win talent shows. Uh -huh. Nigga might hear you just rapping in school, being on the table. But as a comedian, 
it's dope to hear the story that like your parents saw it, your teachers saw it, you was winning MTV stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole come up story from a kid to now. So that's dope, man. But you gotta think, Scotty, that happened in 2007. I tried to go to college. I worked at the Congress Center. So it like, that it shit. Been a long boy, time. nigga, I'm thinking somebody gonna see MTV your mama. And I ain't got to worry about shit up, man. I get they weren't watching that shit. Nigga, I had to. Had Erica to... was watching it? I was watching it. Nigga, I needed, I needed them white folks watching that shit. <laughs> we finna get this grill going. You okay. ever had a grill before? Yeah, back when I was in high school. For real? With a, like the flea market and shit? Yeah, man, that shit probably weighed about 50 pounds. Damn. T big hell. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you a grill. What you got in mind, though? Like, what kind of what kind of set you want to do today? I just want to get the, the two teeth. Two in the front. Yeah. Just but I want to keep the gap. Don't cover it. No. Leave it wide open. Wide open. All right, let's go for yeah. it. You know what I'm so saying? So then they could be like, if that shit shining, like the gap just shining on a nigga. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, yeah. all right, all right. That's confidence then, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, no, for sure. Why would I cover that up? Uh, some people come in here, they want to cover Man, the gap, you know what I mean? That space will be so damn big on the grid. It do be, bro. Yeah. It do be. Well, you know, and sometimes it ain't going to really hit the way you think it's going to hit when yeah. you cover that gap like that. So, all right. So, so in your motion. expertise, you think it'll come out like, you know what I'm saying? Well, what you would you put on those two teeth? Would you put some letters? You want it to be out, solid, open face? Like, what you thinking? What about something? What you say? Man, shut your ass up. <laughs> what you what you thinking though? What would you uh, put on there? I just wanted to shine. So solid then. You yeah. might as well go straight solid then. But I do want an open face. Can I get an open face on one too? And when solid on the other one? Yeah. That'll be hard. I ain't never seen nobody do Man, that. You just, what? <laughs> I, I uh, well, did, well, you trying to do it to be funny. Real business, man. You trying to do it to be funny, or you want it to be like real, like hard? Yeah, I want it to be funny, but I don't want it to be like. I want niggas. If you trying listen, to be funny, I want then people that's the laughing way. with me, not at me. Like I don't want okay, nobody then, when I walk away be like, "Why the fuck is We need to do. Me? We need to do two open phase then. Okay, bet. Okay. And unless you gonna put an N and a G on there. No, nah, we'll do two of them. Yeah, do you that much more? Yeah. I said two T. I I still gotta get you right though. Oh. All right, so look, just make sure you don't laugh, make sure you don't talk, make sure you don't smile. I'm gonna get some mud off there for you, you know what I'm right. saying? It take a minute and 30 seconds. I'm gonna try to do it a lot faster though, that's okay? Oh, you gonna do, you gonna do you gonna like that with the gap? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Just pull your top lip up a little bit when you do it. All right, open. Oh, oh. All right, fine, right. stay like that. Okay, let me do a little talking while you're getting molded, all right, that's cool. All right. So, smiling is contagious. Researchers say that sensory motor simulation causes us to mimic a smile when somebody smiles at us. So that's why when you see me smiling with my goals, you want to smile back. Hey, this smile fact today is brought to you by Dutch Master and Nayak. It's your boy Scotty, Grills by Scotty. Let me get back to now, you feel me? Let me see how you look. Don't take it out yet. Just open up a little bit. I got you. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Got the gap in yeah. there? Yeah, I see I it. I can see the gap, yeah, man. I, I can see the tooth. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> man. That yeah. crazy. Let's do it one more time for now, real quick. In here. What's up, man? <laughs> okay, so with all that being said, you also have your own show, Broken Plate. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. How did you link up with 85 and the whole crew? Uh, I don't, like, like, like I was saying, like with DC, we was uh, doing Ratchet People Meet skits together and stuff like that. Uh, Carlos was hosting Cats. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think once they started doing the podcast, and, and granted, like, shout out to people who even do podcasts, because once they start, that was the first podcast I ever knew about. I didn't even know what podcast was. 85 South. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So when they said, come do the podcast, yeah. I was like, whatever that is, I was like, I'll come do it. So I'm not knowing how big of a reach and following podcast bring, but mm -hmm. I did they podcast, then I just started seeing followers come on. Like, Damn, a lot of people be on their podcast. They were like, y'all should come, they were like, uh, telling me to come do it again. So I was like, bet. Right. So I go do it again. 
Then that's when they get in, start doing the live shows. Mm. So they had me come open up a live show. But then that's when, you know, they start touring or whatnot. And then once they start hitting the arenas, they came back, got me to start doing the live shows with them. Then they just start asking, like, what kind of ideas? But everybody, like, if you cool with me and know, like, I gamble. Right. On sports. Right. So sometimes, like, that, that might differentiate how my day might go. <laughs> Really? Yeah. 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 Like, okay. Even my kids know, like, damn. Like, when, okay, when we say gambling, we talking about, like, Michael Jordan gambling? We talking about, like, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Michael okay, Jordan gambling? I'm just saying. Yeah, you been, you been in the house, like, you know, you been in the car, like. Okay, nah, I feel it, though. So that's how, but that's how you got into the idea of yeah, broken play, so like. like, yeah, just talking sports from, like, our standpoint. Like, it ain't got to be, like, how people looking at the the statistics and breaking it down, like, who cost you some money today? Mm. Yeah, so that's when we started looking at sports like that and just talking sports, like how we talk sports at the barbershop. Right. And talk like somebody who can listen, like, our ear. Mm. So that's how, like, we cater to that type of crowd, and it's it been hitting ever since. Nice it's dope. dope. I didn't check it out. Okay, so before you, you get out of here, I want to ask you this simple question. Uh -huh. Tell me about a time or a dope time that you had while you was on Edgewood? A dope mm -hmm. time when I was, man, if I had to go back and think about a dope time on Edgewood, it would probably be around 2015, 2016. Uh, I, I might, I'm, I'm in this time frame, but I know they used to have a rooftop. Yeah. So with the rooftop, you ain't even got to really go to the rooftop parties because the outside and the street, like, I not Saturday was too bu busy for me. Yeah, I like Saturday Sunday. Was lit. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, well, yeah. you was at Cafe Circle? Yeah, Cafe okay, Circle. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Meezy used I'm to DJ you. on there. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I used, to, I used to like that, man. And then it was like, I think that was right before that little... That little phase where it just started getting crazy in Atlanta. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this before the scammers took over and all that. Man, the <laughs> every drink, so yeah, era. every drink will earn. Yeah, yeah. They say every drink will earn. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I appreciate you coming through, man. It's been dope, man. Chopping up with me and Erica. No, nah, for sure, man. Live on Edgewood. <laughs> Whatever you didn't know, don't ask Erica. She I'm not gonna ask her no more, man. I'm not gonna ask her no more, man. <laughs> Hey, look, man, y'all please make some noise for my dollar again, man. Now, man. man, look, man, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, man, Dutch Masters and Nyack for coming through. Nyack. You know Come on now, one time for them. <laughs> Listen, make sure you follow us live on Edgewood TV. I'm your boy, Scotty ATL. This is my girl, Erica Dutchess. We live, man, live on Edgewood. And it's east side till I die. Believe that. <laughs>